Hi guys, so today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to prepare these delicious Nigerian jello fries. So stick with me and learn the process. So the ingredients I'm gonna be using are tomatoes, onions, carrots, ginger, garlic, pepper, or if you have scotch bonnet, you can use it. We have chili powder. What is jello fries without pepper? <laughs> we have maggi cubes, tomato paste, bay leaves, paprika, garlic powder, and of course our main ingredient which is the rice. Then we're also gonna use boiled meat. This is optional, you can leave it out or you can use it. Some peas and lastly some salt to taste. Add in your tomatoes, your onions, your ginger, your garlic and your pepper into the blender. Then add in some water which is basically just going to smoothen the blending process. Don't put a lot of water, just little. Then close your blender and start the process. Blend all your ingredients for about 2 minutes until the substance turns liquid or rather watery. And I forgot to mention here people don't like pili pili, that's why I didn't put a lot of it. But you can put any amount that you wish. It doesn't matter or you can leave it out if you don't like pili pili as well. After setting aside your blended ingredients, wash your rice thoroughly with running water until the water turns clear. Washing your rice basically helps in removing excess starch which just helps in easing digestion and also it allows your rice to absorb water so that it does not become sticky when cooking and after cooking. Jollof rice does not come out well when the rice is sticky so carefully wash your rice and ensure not to skip this step it's very important it doesn't matter whether your rice is clean or not just wash it so that you can remove the excess starch and reduce the stickiness when cooking and after cooking In a hot cooking pot, add in some oil and two medium-sized chopped onions and let it cook until the onions turn golden brown. After a few minutes, your onions will start to turn golden brown. Add in 2 tablespoons of tomato paste, then stir it and let it cook for about 3 minutes. After your tomato paste has cooked, add in your blended ingredients. Then later on add in garlic powder, paprika, maggi cubes, chili powder and if you don't have chili powder you can incorporate that with chili flakes, some salt to taste and any other curry spices that you may have. Then close your cooking pot and let it cook for about 15 minutes until the water reduces.
Once the water has reduced from the stew, add in your clean rice into the stew. Then later on add in the peas, the meat, the carrots and add some very little water so that your rice can cook and cover your pot and let your jollof rice to start cooking. Okay. I forgot to mention this, after adding your meat, peas and carrots, add in your bay leaves then cover the pot. If you come back and you notice that your jollof rice is drying out and it's not yet ready, add in some little water then use a fork to stir it from the bottom to the top. Do it carefully so that your rice does not break. And remember not to use a spoon because the spoon will only make it soggy. So use a fork and do it carefully, carefully. After the 15 minutes have elapsed, come back and check on your jello fries. Yay, our jello fries is ready. It's not watery and it's not so dry. It's just in the middle and I'm happy with the results. So let's, let's wait for it to just sit for extra 20 minutes without cooking then we'll serve it here are the final results so plate your jello fries according to your liking and enjoy it with a drink or whatever that you may want thank you so much for watching this video and i hope you learned a thing or two try it out and let me know what you think Bye, I will see you in my next video.